<laughs> I know he looks really happy, but he just woke up scream crying. It's like 10.35 now. I did a little bit of a morning montage there because usually we don't pick up the camera in the morning so you never get to see what our morning is like. Hopefully it showed you a glimpse of it. I don't know. I'm just like not a human in the morning to be honest and I can't talk, but I'm getting there. It's Sunday. It's actually Super Bowl Sunday. I didn't know that until yesterday because <laughs> I live in a little bubble at home and we don't have cable, so I didn't even know who was playing. But uh, the Patriots are playing. That's who we are rooting for, even though we're probably not watching it. And I probably look really sleepy and like puffy and weird. It's because I'm very tired. Mm -hmm. Very tired. I worked last night and he slept from like se seven. Ooh. Seven last night until like almost seven this morning. So he had like 12 hours of sleep, yet he he's been very sleepy <laughs> and cranky today. Um. And he doesn't want a nap. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Um, but I probably slept like six or seven hours, so I'm still kind of tired. Do you want to go run some errands with Nana? Should we go out with Nana? Nana finally got out of bed and hopped in the shower, so we might go to the grocery store soon. Or maybe, I think maybe we should get some like childproofing stuff, but it's kind of hard because the doorknobs places, like, they're not very close together, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure how to tie them together, but maybe we'll do that. Um, he's currently getting into stuff right now. Ronan! Hi. That's where all the cat food and baby jars are. Good thing you're in your walker and you're not crawling around. He'd be all up in that. I do love the pictures though that you see on the internet where like they walk in on their kid and they have like lipstick all over their face and stuff like that. Oh, that's my teeth. But tell me in the comments if you have like a kid that's a little bit older, if you've walked in on them doing something like that, like messing up the toilet paper or like peanut butter all over themselves. Like I hear it happens quite a bit. Noisy. Do do do. Mama stay in bed. I wish that I was in bed. So sleepy. You'll never guess where we are, you guys. Yeah. Hannaford. <laughs> We're with mom. We did go to TJ Maxx, but I forgot to bring the camera into TJ Maxx. So I'll just have to show you guys later, like when we get home, what we ended up getting. But we are here just to get a few things off of our little list. And I did pick up a cheesecake. For tonight. I'm not actually watching the Super Bowl, but I like to celebrate anyways by eating really delicious food. And Ronan is super tired. Oh my gosh, he was being so cranky in TJ Maxx, but he kind of was in a little bit better mood once he came in here because he likes it. And I'm distracting him with his own brush. That scared him. <laughs> was that Nana? That's almond butter. Okay, I need salsa and I need chips, but I just saw a little girl. <laughs> And she was definitely a lot older than Ronan because she looked at him and she said, Little baby! And her head was literally so much smaller than his. I was like looking back and forth at them. You have a gigantic noggin, my child. I think that's for my side of the family, if I'm honest. Because I think me and my siblings and my cousins all had almost like adult sized heads when we were children. I finally tracked this down. I had to go through many aisles to find the cherry goo, but you guys know how much I adore this. So I am hyped. And I just saw that apparently mom is trying to sneak this in. She got him fluoride-free toothpaste. You got your own toothpaste thrown in. Are you excited? We saw Darian already, and he gave him some smiles. And other people have been admiring Ronan, obviously. Because he's so cute. He says, look, Nana. I can make What'd music. Because I finally have some teeth. Oh, yeah. I was trying to get him shaking his head earlier on camera, and he wouldn't do it. You want to shake your head? Of course not. No, not on camera though. He's been shaking his head all the time though, I promise. At some point I will get it on camera for you guys. We are home. I'm making Ronan some toast, and he's going to have toast and bananas, because the bananas are getting really ripe. But I wanted to show you what we got at TJ Maxx. Mom found these for the plugs, so that he can be safe and not put his fingers in the outlet, that'd be good. And then this book has a bunch of like, ugh, it's hard to open with one hand. 
you know, it says tractor and like different things. He really likes pictures and like simple stuff, so that will be good. He pr pretty much cried when I took it away from him, so uh, he likes it. And then I also found a mango ginger habanero sauce, which you can put on like meat, or I was thinking we could dip our sticky rice in it because I like to use peanut sauce, but I want to kind of mix it up a little bit. And then mom found this for him because he doesn't have a lot of clothes in the size that he is. Ooh, your toast is done, but look how cute. His little tigers. Say thank you, Nana. <laughs> So much trouble, I just changed his diaper, and now he's kneeling here and hitting the window. Plus, <laughs> he also looks like he's a little girl wearing little knee-high socks, but it's because I haven't put his pants back on. Yeah. Baby, do you want to go take a nap? So it is 3 o'clock. Um, Ronan is finally taking a nap, and it was really testing my patience because um, as you get closer and closer to 12 months, at least for me, I feel like it's harder and harder to breastfeed. Um, during certain situations, like late at night, not a problem, early in the morning, not a problem. He's so, like, desperate for milk that he just lays still and, like, lets you rock him and just goes to sleep, basically. But in the middle of the day, he does, like, really weird stuff with his legs. He, like, tries to roll over all the time and, like, pushes his legs really hard against the, um, sides of the chair when I'm rocking him. And it can just be so hard to get him to stay still and he's not gonna fall asleep if he's moving around so I usually like have one arm under his head obviously and then this arm I try and use to like keep his legs still but then I also have the problem where he uses his other hand he has to have his hand like, on my boob and really close to his mouth so sometimes his thumb like gets in there and ends up losing suction and then he unlatches and that can be really annoying too and he also pinches like I keep his nails um so I'm trying to drink my tea because I still haven't had any of it and it was cold so I had to reheat it when I came downstairs. But I try to keep his nails short for that reason. And they are right now, but it still pinches. So it's kind of like, do I want to hold his legs gently so that he'll like simmer down and just let him pinch the frick out of my tatas? Or do I want to hold his hand gently? And I ended up choosing his legs and that worked out and he fell asleep, which was great. But it's just like, I literally have red marks like on my boobs a lot of time so <laughs> one time I was like out in public and I looked in the mirror and I had like all these little scratches on my chest and I'm like oh, man it's just like bittersweet I guess because I do want to continue breastfeeding and I'll be sad looking back like if I ever watch this video when I'm no longer breastfeeding and he's like two years old or something I'm gonna be like I miss it I wish I wasn't complaining about it but in the moment it can be frustrating so just a learning lesson. Um, I'm taking a moment, a mama moment, to have some tea. Mm -hmm. I don't even really enjoy the flavor of the tea, but it's just nice that it's warm. And then I have to go do some dishes while he's still asleep. And if he stays asleep, then I'm going to make some um, like tuna patty things with carrot and scallions and like herbs and spices and stuff. So if I do that and he stays asleep, then maybe I'll pick up the camera again and show you, but I really have to go do the dishes. Don't, don't run over him. That's not nice. Bronx, no. <laughs> I gave him, I let him lick the other can of tuna. Because I'm finally making this. And it takes two cans of tuna, two eggs, breadcrumbs, scallions, carrot, and, of course, cayenne pepper. But now that he's had one can of tuna... He really wants the other one. You cannot have it. Mom wants me to sample the sauce I got. She's scared that since there's habaneros in it, I'm going to hate it and it's going to be really, really hot. What do you think it's going to... You think it will be? Or you think it'll be sweet? I think it might be sweet. Mango. Ginger. It's pretty, like... I'm scared for it to go in my throat because I haven't swallowed it yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's very like right away like burning. Ah. You have to be careful, I think. It's good. Ah. But like your tongue is like zap. Like what's good? You wanna try it? Ah. Oh, let's do try it. <laughs> if you 
do let it get to the point. <laughs> You're in trouble. No trouble. Yeah. It's perfect. I think it'll be good for the rice. Yeah, it's perfect. Can you notice Ronan's over here touching Bronx's toes? <laughs> it's really delicious. The trouble is you fool yourself. Yeah, but what because if, you taste the sweet first. What if we mixed a little like, bit with the oh, peanut man. sauce? Good mix with the peanut sauce. Oh, did you eat too much of it? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I could probably put a, a droplet on my rice. A drop? Come on. We're not that that's white. Ho that's hotter than the sweet chili honey. Go on, you can do it. That's it. <laughs> He's smiling. Hey. Off the table. Yeah, you showing the cat your spoon? <laughs> Watch out, Bronx. He's gonna spoon you. Not in the nice way. Oh, he's sleepy. This is almost time for bed, but we are getting ready to eat <coughs> finished product of the tuna patties, which they're not eating, but they have their asparagus. And we have our sticky rice and all the sauces here. And Ronan has some puree because he had some solids for lunch, didn't you? Are you ready to eat? He's like, yeah. I he see. He wants rice. some of what you have, though. Sign more? <gasps> yes! yes. yes. That's so more! More? Sticky rice, more. <laughs> He's gonna hurt himself. <laughs> oh, chew! Because you can chew! Self laugh. <laughs> You're gonna give Papa hysterics. <laughs> mental cr mental crisis. <laughs> I know. I caught you. I caught you doing it. Liv, Lynn says that Liv does this too. You shaking your head? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Making him disoriented. <laughs> Here come the hiccups. Here come the hiccups. I heard him coming. <laughs> <laughs> there he's oh, got him no. now. Woof. <laughs> I could scare them out of you. There it comes. Woof. No, or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Rice. Look at that. That's from your tray. Let's see what you think of this new flavor. Uh, Nana got you your own toothpaste. He's good with it. He's good with it. It tastes like those nasty grape tablets that I used to have as oh, medicine when I was yeah. little. The tooth is catching ah. up to his first tooth. Ah. They look the same size now, huh? Ah. Good job. Even his mouth open. Nice. Very good job. Curly whites. That's all for today, guys. Have a good night. Bye.